we look around the universe and it looks like we're in the center. What an ego-supporting concept that is. This horizon problem is actually quite simple. And rather than explain the full-up nature of it, let me just give a simple example. When you're a ship at sea, your horizon in every direction is the same distance from you. Depends on your height above the sea level. That's why ship decks are high. They see farther beyond the curvature of the Earth than you do just standing on the main deck. So your horizon is a perfect circle centered on you. You can conclude that is the extent of the entire Earth. Or you can imagine, suppose I'm in another spot. Well, that horizon is still true for whoever happens to be in the middle of it, but now you've moved to a new place and you will see a horizon corresponding with that spot. And so everybody has a horizon at sea, yet no one at any time is thinking that that's the full extent of the ocean or the full extent of the Earth. We have a horizon in the universe, so does the Andromeda galaxy. Galaxies with names that look like phone numbers. If you travel to those galaxies, they will see the edge of the universe now in three dimensions, in every direction, at the same distance from them, just as we see for ourselves.